Installing a new double exterior door is a great way to add beauty and style to your home while saving energy. Plus, it's an easy project that you can accomplish in less than a day. Begin by preparing the door opening. Clean the floor area around the door opening. Double check the rough opening dimensions. It should be roughly a half inch taller and three quarters of an inch wider than the outside dimensions of the door frame. Make sure the floor is level and check the opening for plumb and square. Cut the water resistive barrier. Make two 45 degree 6 inch cuts extending from the corners of the rough opening. Fold the water resistant barrier up and tape it into place. It will be folded back down at the end of the installation. Begin applying flash tape 6 inches up the side wall. Press the tape firmly against the water resistant barrier and the subfloor, making sure to overlap the front edge by a half inch. Be sure to extend the flashing tape 6 inches up on the other side wall. If necessary, apply a second strip of flashing to the inside of the rough opening, overlapping the first strip by at least one inch. At the corner, cut an inch wide tab. Repeat through the other side. Be sure to press the flash tape firmly against the water resistant barrier and the subfloor. Remove the door handles from the door unit. Cut the cardboard to remove the bracing board from the bottom of the door. Apply a triple bead of silicone caulking to the subfloor of the rough opening. Also apply caulking around the perimeter of the door sill and the back side of the door's brick mold. Using two people, set the sill into the rough opening and center the frame. Once the frame is centered, tip the door into place. Open the active door and check the hinge side for plumb. Place shims behind the top hinge and tack the unit into place by removing one screw from the top hinge and installing a 2.5 inch wood screw through the hinge and into the rough opening. Measure diagonally across the door unit to determine if it is square. From corner to corner, the measurement should be the same. Place shims behind the middle and lower hinge locations and each of the corresponding hinge locations on the inactive door. Continue adding shims until the margin around the door is even and the margin between the active door and inactive door astragal are even. An even margin across the top of the header and down the center of the door will ensure that the door unit is square in the opening. Uneven margins will result in the door unit being out of square. Open the active door carefully and recheck for plumb. Finish screwing the hinge jam into place by removing one screw from the middle and bottom hinges and installing a 2.5 inch drywall screw into the hinges and through the shims and rough opening. Install a second 2.5 inch screw into the top hinge to prevent the door from sagging. Repeat the previous steps on the inactive door hinges. Close the door unit and recheck the margin around it. It should be even horizontally across the top of the header and vertically from the header to the frame. Make adjustments to the shimming as needed. Place three shims across the head of the door unit. Remove the door clips. Open both doors and hold back the weather strip. Install one two and a half inch drywall screw into the head and through each shim location. If your pre-hung unit has an adjustable sill, Use a number 2 Phillips screwdriver to adjust the set screws on top of the sill crown to allow your door to operate properly. A good test for the proper height of the sill crown is to close the door on a piece of paper. Pull the paper from between the sweep and threshold. If the paper tears, the threshold is adjusted too high and it will prematurely wear out the sweep. If there is no tension on the paper, then there is potential for water leakage. Double door units are equipped with an astragal that acts as a stop for your active door. This astragal is supplied with head and foot pins that secure your unit in a fixed position when the pin is extended. Refer to the full project instructions for astragal installation. Following the manufacturer's instructions, install your lock set. Your double door unit will arrive with strike plates pre-installed on the astragal. These plates can be adjusted up or down by using a number 2 Phillips screwdriver to loosen the plates as needed. Before you apply casing to the interior of your door unit, you will need to insulate around the frame opening. We recommend using fiberglass blanket insulation as expanding foam will affect the margin around the door unit. Apply flashing tape along the exterior frame of the door unit by cutting two pieces four inches longer than the height of the frame. The tape should extend two inches above and below the door. Cut a third piece of flashing tape for the header. It should extend at least one inch beyond the edge of the two flashing tapes along the sides. 
Fold the water barrier over the flashing tape. Cut two pieces of flashing tape at least one inch longer than the diagonal cuts in the barrier. Apply them over the cuts. Make sure the corner seals are in place. There will be one seal per hinge jam and one that needs to be applied to the astragal. Remove all excess shimming material by first scoring the shims and then breaking them off with a hammer. Add casing to the unit as desired. It is very important that you finish your pre-hung unit properly. To ensure maximum efficiency, make sure to caulk the following locations. Where the brick mold contacts the exterior wall, where the brick mold contacts the frame, over the crown and around the corner seal, where the frame contacts the sill, along the length of the nose of the sill where it contacts the sill plate. You've successfully installed your new exterior door. To view additional product information and videos, visit MidwestManufacturing.com and for guest assistance, email us at MasterCraftDoorHelp at MidwestManufacturing.com.